episode number eight of this particular 100 episode series from February. And on this particular episode, we are going to be breaking down that Uber Angel is not just teaching Bible, but there is a certain level of directly out of the Quran. And I have to show it out here. I'm going to talk about the five names of Allah in the Quran that are very arrogant and actually speaks of the devil which actually fit what you hear Hubert Angel saying in the intro of this particular video. It's the reality show with daily Christian commentary videos. This video is going to be a little bit more detailed. I'm going to be focusing in on what he says as how it fits into the God that is described in the Quran, which we all agree it's not the God of the Bible. He is claiming that God is trapping Christians. God is being deceptive and trapping Christians. Now, the particular name, there's something to note for Christians. God in the, or which is Allah in the Quran, he's, he has 99 names. And out of that 99 names, there is one name that appears also included in Surah chapter number 3, verse 54. And in that particular verse, the particular name is al Makr, al Makr, okay? M-A-K-I-R, al Makr, which means the deceiver. What, what human angel is claiming upon God, it's literally what it says about the devil in the Quran, okay? In the Quran, it portrays it as God, but we are clear, we understand God is not the deceiver. He is claiming that God is now trapping Christians in order for him to judge them. Mm, I don't think so. That's the, the God of Islam. Now, the particular verse says this. It says, Wamakaru. While Makar Halau Hail Makarin, that is verse 54, right? In English, it says, The unbelievers plotted, they planned. God too plotted. He is the best of all plotters. That is what God is. So basically, it claims that God is the deceiver. He is the best of deceivers. He is the best of things. Now, what in the world? Is that, does that have to do with Christianity? That has nothing to do with Christianity if I am you listening to that. He portrays this image of wanting to be the judge and jury of Christians, particularly the Bereans, the ones that want to make a reference to the Bible, to what pastors are teaching. What is, what do you see out of this? I see all of the names of Allah portrayed in him. Now, another particular other one that you might also want to think about Allah has another name out of the 99 names, which is El Mutakapter. Okay, that's another name of Allah. And that particular name is called the Arrogant. That is one of the names of the 99 names. You can actually go and research it. It's called the Arrogant. So there is arrogance also spotted in what you are hearing and thinking. The another one that he is actually claiming when he says that God is going to trap Christians here is... Adar, there is another name of Allah, which is called the Adar, Adar, which is A-D space D-A-R-R, -R, Adar, the distresser. So God is going to allow Christians to trap themselves because he's going to put apostles and prophets there and he's going to allow you to, to make comments about them. And when you make comments about them, he's going to judge you. He will make, so he's causing distress. By the way, that particular name also can be also extended to the one who causes harm in its full meaning. And so, are we talking about the same God? I'm going to give Bible verses that say to rebuke and to correct. Another particular name, actually, of Allah that is actually attribute that he is attributing here, which I see in characteristic to what he's attributing here, is El Mazil, okay, which is M-U-Z-I-L, which is the humiliator so meaning god is going to humiliate in these names that i'm talking about these four or five names that i'm talking about i see everything that Uber angel is claiming about god the god he's talking about is not the god of the bible unfortunately many people many people will not hear what we are saying he is portraying an arrogant he's portraying a deceiver out of god he's one who wants to humiliate he wants to, he's going to set a trap for you so that you, you make a mistake and then 
He's going to humiliate you. That's not God. But that, that last one, that earlier one that I mentioned earlier on, El, 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 Malke, El Malke, the deceiver, which is very likely what he is making a reference to. You see it also in Surah chapter number 3, verse 54. I would be very concerned when I'm listening to this man. Okay? Because out of that, what you get is that these people are not believers. They believe something else. It makes sense why they, they so persistent. They are so persistent at portraying God the wrong way, the way he is not portrayed. Now, by the way, in case this particular part of the video where it contains what Hubert said is not there, you can go to the Facebook page, Church Reality Check, you'll find the full video over there. Okay? Let's just be very clear. What he is saying is straight out of the Quran. It has nothing to do with the God of the Bible. Now, remember, the names I'm talking about, those are the names that the Muslims themselves know. He has 99 names. Allah is said to have 99 names. They call them beautiful names, but I don't see beautiful name in the arrogant, the distresser, the humiliator, and the deceiver. Also, the mischief one, uh, Al-Fatar. Another one that they also use, Kul uh, Al-Ul, Dubirab, Bil Falak. And think, so there's a lot of verses that, uh, that show Satan in in the Quran, which is what Ubet clearly defines. So, if for those people that are not understanding why I'm saying what Ubet is teaching here sounds more Muslim than Christian, it sounds more aligned to that belief system than what we believe in the Bible. I would be extremely, I would be extremely careful around what this man teaches. For me personally, I think I'm almost done with covering stories of Uber Angel. And this tells you why. This particular video here tells you why. Okay? It's actually the show with daily Christian commentary videos. Now, you might have seen the shorter video, the, a small part of this on the other video. I wanted to address it separately where I can show details of the other names in the Quran that illustrate this idea of supposedly God being the deceiver. That's not the biblical God. What he's talking about is the God of Islam. It's the God of Islam who we know to be Satan. Okay? God, the, Satan is the one who is the deceiver. Satan is the deceiver. Satan is the one who wants to humiliate With all these people rolling on the ground, whatnot, always vomiting, whatnot. He has no beauty that he sees in man. So he brings out that. When you see, when you read in Isaiah, when he's boasting and wants to take over the throne of God, he is, shows his ar arrogance, his alm the character there, that title of the arrogant one. Pasalani, you are not hearing God here. And in a lot of prophetic churches, I'll be very careful because they are showing, a lot of these prophetic churches, they are showing this arrogant God. And there is one who is that arrogant. It's Satan, not God. That's why you can't correct them. That's why, they, that's why you can't bring out scripture to correct what they say. Because the only thing that they will have against you, it's their foul God to, to make a defense for themselves. But Zalani, I, I, for me, to be honest with you, in all honesty, I'm almost done covering you bit. <laughs> okay? Yeah, him and his camp, they don't have to worry about being covered on this channel. Nah, you guys are just too far over there. So... Personally, don't expect to see me constantly calling out. Uh, in the other video, I do also explain why uh, there is a huge deception around these particular figures. It's prophets that come from Zim. Why is so much confusion from Zim? What's, prophets that, what's, what's wrong? What's going on? <laughs> what happened? What did you guys submit yourself to that you would be this type of personality? But hey, I'm not talking about all of them. No, yes, let's be very clear. Yeah, some people will be offended. What well, if you're offended? Maybe you are one of them. <laughs> okay. It is clear what I'm talking about. Are these arrogant preachers? These arrogant supposed preachers who are out here to cause all kinds of confusion. Sterek Shari show with daily Christian commentary videos. The description of what he is claiming here. It's not God. The description that he's putting out here, it's Satan. 